Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us here. Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to give a uh, big shout out to Ralph William Barker, who... Uh, donated to my PayPal. I really, really do appreciate that. I want to thank you very, very much. So big shout out to you and thanks for doing that. And we will get that right back into these videos for sure. Thank you. Um, so Ugly Duckling. You know, comes a time when these little old kickers can just, you know, kind of pull your strings this way and that way and back this way and it gets you frustrated. Well, I get like that. I'm sure we all do. I'm sure you've been there, done that. And that's kind of where I'm at with this one. You understand? So I thought, I'm going to just step back, take advantage of a little, little window of good weather and go for a boat ride, do a little fishing. Oh yeah, it beats this. So, I've got a little window. I'm going for a boat ride and do a little fishing. You want to come? Let's go. Gorgeous. And I got the old Bay Runner with the Zuki DT40 lit off. I'm going to go for a boat ride. And I'm going to go see if I can catch me a dinner. Little halibuts. Nice rack sole or northern sole or Dover's or whoever's home. That's what I'm gonna do. But who knows, maybe even a salmon. It's happened to me before. It has happened to me before. Boats are going, boats, boats, boats. Ella Jane. Yeah, salmon's winding down. Hope these guys did well. I know they did real good up in the bay. My buddy Charlie was telling me that up Bristol Bay they had, I guess, one of the best seasons ever recorded. something don't know what it is it ain't very big but it's on there it's on there at least I think it is yeah 
cats on there. It's small, whatever it is. Oh, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? What is that? Oh, a cabbie's on. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Believe it or not, these are very good eating fish. Oh, come here. Um, I think they call them cabazons. My friend George showed me that this is one of the best eating fish around here, but it takes quite a bit to uh, make a meal. You only get a little fillet, but it's a real tasty little fillet. So, let's get him off. And since I've got some cabs in the freezer, I'm going to let this one go, I think. I had to move over in toward Woody Island because, uh, uh let me open my bail here. Because, uh, out there the wind was just picking up too much. Oh, boy, let loose. There we go. Oh, isn't that a pretty fish? But I'm going to let him go for another day. It's a bouncy. It's a bouncy down there. Feels like I'm shallowing up. Oh, I got something that time. Oh, he got, no, he didn't get off. Good. Ooh. Oh, better tighten my drag so I'm, whatever it is, that feels more like a cod. Come on, buddy. Don't get off. Don't get off on me. He got off? What? No, it's a... Oh, wow, look, a greenling. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that fish. Oh, wow. Uh, this is what they call a greenling. Beautiful fish. Let me get my... Uh, look at the colors on him. Now, when you clean these fish, they... Uh, See the blues, all the pretty blues? When you clean them a lot of times, the meat inside there will be uh, blue. But when you cook it, it turns white. Isn't that a pretty little fish? And it's recording, it says it is anyway. This is called a Greenland. I've heard people call them kelp bass. But isn't that a beautiful fish? Where's the sun? Hey, see all them pretty colors? Yeah. I'm gonna let him go though. I got a pretty good size something. I forgot to get my buoy ready. Let's see what it's coming up, but it, it's got a little size. It, it's gonna be dinner. Whoa. Oh yeah. Come on, big boy. Oh, there he is. That's a nice halibut. Oh, yeah, I got him good, too, so I can take my time and get my buoy and shit. Oh, man, I am so unprepared, as always. <laughs> but he's not freaked out yet. So, oh boy, he's a good one. Oh, now he's freaked out. There he is. Woo! That hook looks like it in him pretty good. Now, is my spear 
hooked to a buoy. Yes, it is. All right. I'm going to try this thing. You know what? Here he goes. I didn't spear him, but... Not a real big halibut. That's about, oh, I don't know, 20 pounder or so. Well, this thing says it's recording, so I hope it recorded it. My right arm hurting. I'm too old, and this is a small fish. Well, Wind's picking up a little bit and starting to cloud up a little bit. I think I'll go on in where I can get around and do a little bit of a boat ride. You know, go around the harbor, see what's tied up, that kind of thing. So, um, but I gotta organize this boat before I do. I'll be back. <laughs>
Oh. He's heavier than he looks. He's not a real wide halibut, but he's thick. Take care of your outboard, it'll take care of you. I can sit on the edge. Now, we went out there in that their specific ocean and we caught this halibut and some cabbage on and a beautiful Greenland 
now I gotta clean my bow. I cleaned my bow. You see how messy that thing was inside? It was a spur of the moment thing. I just, you know, I said I got a, a little block of decent weather. Throw it in and go. That's what I did. Now, let's see. Okay, we got the specific halibuts. And then we got this. You see? This is known as a Rainier beer. But in the specific Northwest, it's also known as vitamin R. Now you got to have the vitamin R if you're going to have that. You got to have the vitamin R. Because you got to make that beer battered halibut. Yeah, we're going to make some. I always, when I go out and catch a fresh halibut and I bring it home, I must, must have fresh caught minutes, hours at the latest ago fresh out that specific ocean beer battered halibut. So I'm going to get my fillet knife and get to working on this guy and I'll put that vitamin R in there with the uh, with the beer batter, you know. Stir it around. Then, we'll put it in that peanuts oil. Cook it up crispy. Feed the beast. Gots to feed the beast. You get four of those off of one halibut. Look how thick that joker is. Yummy. Well, there they are. Four big old fillets. That's what I like about the halibut. They're mostly meat. <laughs> Very little waste on those. And you see these little guys here? Those are the cheeks I cut out here. You cut them out. These are a lot like scallops. Sea scallops. So, yummy. I think my oil's heated up good. I got my beer splattered halibut right here. Mmm. Smelling good. Let's see if my oil's hot enough. Yeah, it's doing good.
Get a beer battered Halley butt right out of that specific ocean. In my backyard right there. I have the Halley bugs. Fresh. Yummy. That's probably enough for a first batch. You hear that ocean over there? Right out of that ocean. Right into that fry. Cooking away in the peanut oil. Now, after I take them out to Earl, I like to uh, take a little bit of Lowry's or Johnny's seasoning salt. Why they still got a little bit of the oil on them. And give them a nice little shake of that. There we go. Put in some more. Next, go in the taters. Gotta have the taters. Can't have them fish and chips without them chips. And next, gotta go in the hush pup. to have my hush puppy. Got to have our little hush puppies in there. See what we can do with that. Mm -hmm. Got me some hush puppy batter here. And I just put them in the fryer. And you kind of roll them about. Don't want to get them too brown. And when they pop up and start floating, you're getting close. But you got to roll them over sometime, you know. You know how you teach a little puppy? Roll over. Roll over. You gotta make your hot puppy roll over sometime. I just use two little old spoons and it seems to work. I like to get my hands on nasty. Mm. Oh! We are hush puppy in in there. Well. There we have it. Fresh catch of the day halibut. Hush puppies. Taters. 
Oh, pardon me, I meant chips. Homemade tartar sauce and ketchup. Let's try a little catch of the day. Mmm, flaky, fresh. I shall now have a chip. Now, I don't know if the boys across the pond have the hush puppies, but I do. Mmm. Fresh beverage. Mm -mm. Wash it all down with a refreshing beverage. I don't know how good this camera will pick it up, but boy, we got a pretty sunset going on. I hope you can see it. It's gorgeous. Beautiful red, pink. Not so much on the water side, but still pretty. Isn't that pretty? The wind kind of calmed down and it's not blowing near as bad. Beautiful red sky. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.